Now families are scrambling to clean up their yards and clear away debris before more storms hit tomorrow. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton live tonight with the late night damage. Xavier. Sarah, Fred, uh, crews are still cleaning up. This road right here in Belmont, part of Main Street, closed off. Here's why just behind me you can see a tree crossing the road. This is something that's going to be a problem going into the morning. A spring mix from Mother Nature of rain and hail making for treacherous travel Monday. On roadways, accidents backing up traffic. Gastonia PD tweeting about a jackknifed tractor trailer. Our camera is capturing crews tow it away. Just two exits down on I-85 South near the New Hope Road exit, the driver of a silver Mustang ended up here in a ditch. I'm trying to see what's going on. Look. At the airport, a ground stop was in effect for inbound planes. Emergency crews could be seen on the tarmac. Late 43 to Charlotte Ops. You got a call sign for the aircraft. Officials saying that a PSA flight was forced to land after mechanical issues. Our cameras were rolling as emergency vehicles waited for the plane to touch down. A couple crews going in and checking the cockpit for a smell it's inside the cockpit. Just stand by to your locations were advised. The aircraft landed safely and no injuries were reported. Grainy cell phone video not distorting the sound of rain flooding creeks and rivers. How struck by lightning. This tree couldn't withstand the severe storm. It blocked one lane in a West Charlotte neighborhood for hours. So power outage is also a problem here in Belmont with trees covering some of the power lines here. Crews are going to continue to clean this up. No word yet on when exactly this road, this part of Main Street, will be reopened. Reporting live in Gaston County, I'm Xavier Walton for NBC Charlotte. Xavier, thanks. Our first warned storm team will be tracking these storms all night. When we aren't on air, you can find the latest forecast inside the NBC Charlotte mobile app.